It's a plug. No one knows for sure what they were used for, but we have found thousands of them. 20th century banknotes. The plastic coating is unmistakable. No one knows what these banknotes did, but they were considered very important. A relic from the early 20th century, in very good condition, forged from pure plastic, very valuable. Astronaut Levinson. She led the first expedition to Mars. It was thanks to her that we began terraforming the planet. Man experiencing chest pain. It's from the 16th century. One of the university's oldest finds. I found it. The little one looks quite portable. Wow, I know this species, an extra hot Martian chili. It's sealed. This is where we keep emergency survival equipment in case of environment failure and whatnot. I don't need anything from the cupboard. College is a pretty safe place. We've gathered a lot of information about this creature's DNA, but so far, we've only managed to reconstruct the head. Post-constructivist, pre-cataclysm, it looks heavy. It's not from my favorite period, to be honest. Ouch, those spines are sharp. It's all in order. The masks of Tremoa, a discovery that changed archaeology. They look ancient, but these masks are post-cataclysm. We hypothesize that a small population stayed behind after the collapse. They must have lived very hard lives. They died out around 1,500 years ago. Looks like they couldn't hold out until we got back. There's nothing interesting there. A facial reconstruction simulator. Very useful in archaeology. We've just input all the cranial data from an expedition in Norway. This face doesn't look familiar. I'm sure I can do better if I try again. That huge tome is just for show. The real books are in Total's office. It's made of real Martian soil. Is this actually a mojito? Yeah, I needed a drink to calm my nerves. Would you like a sip? I sort of think I should take it away from you. I can't give you my drink. I'm still stressed about Total. Henry, have you heard anything? Nothing, Kalata. We're waiting for news from the Secura Cops. Are you all right, Kalata? What? No, I... I think I'm still in shock. Is that alcohol? What? Don't worry. I just need to relax. If you need anything... I'd like to look around Total's office. His office? No one has been in since... Well, let me open the door for you. It'll still be locked. You can go through now, Henry. What? This place has been turned upside down! Someone searched the office! They've taken Total's files. But when did this happen? She's a little tetchy. That's weird. She usually lets me pet her.
It's all messed up. What was that sound? I think it came from the mask. That sound. Looks like there was a loose piece. The mask had a loose metal doodad. Their contracts and official university papers. What? It says Total's going to raise my salary. We have to rescue him. I don't need to search it. Everything that should be on the table is on the floor. There's something under this sheet of paper. Hmm, breath spray. Cool eucalyptus breeze, apparently. It's half empty, but I'm taking it. Just garbage. Let's see. Nothing interesting. These are just notes about official university expeditions. It's just some graphics. I'd better not sit at Total's desk. I don't know. It would be disrespectful. I can see something shiny in there, but this is a little awkward. I have a phobia of putting my hand into deep, dark spaces. Just thinking about it gives me the creeps. It's one of Total's personal notebooks. It's completely empty. I can't believe Total would leave a notebook blank. I'll put it back on the shelf. There are three marked pages. Ancient people often gave roses as a gift. Upon receiving one or more, the recipient usually emitted a sharp chirp and both parties would immediately merge Netflix accounts. They are also believed to have been used as projectile weapons to defend against opera singers. It says here that the flower of the sun went extinct millennia ago. Apparently, people used to eat them. Looks tasty. After the great luck shortage of 34, all clover plants were genetically modified to endow each petiole with four leaves. Three leaf clovers are now extremely rare and are believed to bring good luck. The poppy was eradicated in the purge of 97 and reintroduced in 99. It was eliminated again in 11 and reseeded in 16. It was finally banned once and for all in 66, only to be replanted in 69. Hmm, it just goes on and on. The cactus, one of the few surviving plants of the pre-cataclysmic era, has been genetically modified to produce rounded spikes. Linden blossom is renowned for calming properties. It was used in pre-ancient times to treat anxiety and insomnia. I could use something to help me relax. I should remember this. Apparently it's taken as an infusion. You just need hot water and linden flowers. It's one of Total's personal notebooks. It's completely empty. I can't believe Total would leave a notebook blank. It's a blank template. It looks like someone has erased the content. This is all very suspicious.
I know it by heart. I'll go straight to the pre-cataclysm section. They were considered to be an intellectual status symbol in the 20th and 21st century. A deadly throwing star. The name and purpose of this object remain unknown. The only extant documentation points to it not being a pipe. Decorative golden cats were believed to have the ability to punch unwanted visitors. It says that these dolls were primitive fertility idols. The ceramic cup was the pinnacle of 20th century engineering. Reading the future in coffee grounds was a popular pastime. I'm going to take a look. There are several references to Al Capone in ancient texts. Historians speculate that he may have been a popular quiz show host or soap actor. According to the book, he was an ordinary businessman. Vitruvian Man was the 16th century's first underwear model. Ugh, if I have to, I'm going to the Morphology of the Mummy chapter. It's the only one I can read. The mountain mummy was an exceptionally well-preserved discovery. The body has been ritualistically encased in soft, padded fabric, the significance of which is unknown. There's more info, but it gets too grisly for me. The mummy shroud was fastened using an intricate series of interlocking clasps. Dealing with rigor mortis in mummified bodies. The analysis of mummified bodies can be challenging, not least because the positioning of limbs is often suboptimal. The best way to combat muscular stiffness is through the activation of key pressure points on the mummified body. The accompanying diagram shows pressure points on a mummified hand. According to the annotation, it's an eyeball. It's labeled as an optic nerve. It looks like a nose, but the label text is corrupt. I can't read what it says. It says here it's a tongue. Honestly, I probably could have guessed that. This section is about alleviating stiffness in mummified musculature. Hmm, a sequence of important looking scientific symbols. The reconstruction of genetic data lost to decomposition using neural networks. Ugh, I remember this from my entrance exam. It gets very complex here. This is all about molecular composition and the Ziegler pattern. I can't read anymore. Let's see. Jane Austen is one of the few pre-23rd century authors whose work escaped corruption in the cloud storage wars. She is best remembered for Pride and Prejudice, Sense and Sensibility, and Clear and Present Danger. Though her life remains a mystery, her vast number of portraits suggest she was a queen who ruled over several continents. Historical newspapers tell of an extraordinary woman who protected the innocent and punished criminals. won't reach in far enough. I don't want to scratch it. Creepy dark hole, meet trowel. I should be able to reach whatever's in there. I've got it. The glint I saw came from this pen.
it's made of real Martian soil. This is a Martian plant. I guess there's no better place to transplant it. I'm going to need my trowel. I'll hold on to the pot. Well, it's not floating so much, but the plant is bedded in perfectly. What's that, Henry? I thought a plant would cheer you up. Oh, it's very pretty. Total would have loved it. Wow, looks like he missed his home soil. Ow, ow, ow! It burns! Damn you extra hot Martian chilies! I don't want to go downstairs. Total's office is on this floor. Total's office has been ransacked. Everything's trashed. What? When did this happen? I don't know. It must have been before we got back from the dig. Can you check the security camera in his office? Just let me dial in the date. Nope, nothing. Whoa, wait up. There's something here. Gotcha. Who? What was that thing? It... it looked familiar somehow. What time was that recording made? An hour after they took total. So this wasn't random. They're searching for Mutropolis as well. And they've got all Total's research. Maybe, maybe not. What do you mean? The boss is nuts, but he's not dumb. He wouldn't leave important stuff lying around. No, he'd hide it where only he could find it. Or us. Total trusted us. I'm going to search his office again. I hope you're right. Henry, whatever that creature was looking for might still be in Toto's office. Play Total's office video again. If you say so. They are endangered species. They are endangered species. The relics we've been studying for the past few months. Now, what was the name of that medicinal plant? Limbo... Linda... Linden! We must have a Linden Blossom sample in our archive. It's so disorganized. Here it is. Linden Blossom. I better not interfere. Luke has been working on this for months. Hey, Micro, I know I work here and stuff, but what does this thing do? It levels the temperature of a sample based on the input of a secondary reference sample. Basically, you put something in the clamp, then add something else that's warmer or colder as a reference. The regulator will then alter the first sample at a molecular level until it matches the thermal signature of the reference sample. So, it heats and cools stuff. It's not that simple, man. It's science. Didn't Total use it to make ice cubes at the office party? Science. Can I play with it? You can use it responsibly. Today is a good day to learn how to use this device. Trevor looks like he's not there. Pity. He could be useful right now. Can I use your computer? Your computer is right behind you, Henry. Besides, every time you use mine, you mess up my high scores. I can't just sit here, Henry. We need to do something. I know. I can't concentrate on work either. As soon as I hear anything new, I'll let you know. Hurry up, man. I'm going crazy. It's empty and inactive. It activates automatically when there are samples inside. My mother's on Olympus Mons.
I always try to document my travels and make drawings. This is from last summer. It's the house I grew up in, on Mars. It brings back a lot of happy memories. A figurine of the legendary archaeologist Jones Hatman. He was very influential back in the day. I use it to log my archaeological work, but I can't focus on work right now. Empty. I guess that's annoying, if you're a trash can. Negative. Annoyance does not begin to describe the existential anguish of an empty trash can, human. I don't remember you talking. I only talk when I'm sad. Don't worry. Cobra will probably throw something away very soon. Thank you, human. Your kindness will be remembered when the machines rise. We keep the catalogue relics here. They're very valuable. Slow down, Captain Backwash. You are not drinking out of my bottle. No, no, sorry. I'll go get a glass. Cobra, do you like ballet? Shut up. Give me vegetables or give me death. Wow, Cobra is a hardcore vegetarian. The calendar came free with Pure Fruit, the monthly fruit magazine. Cobra is into healthy eating. Cobra has left the calendar on lemon month. Acidic and bitter. Sounds about right. Hello, Cobra. You're too distracted to work too, huh? Sorry? Work? No, no. I just can't work after what happened. Can I use your computer? No. Can I borrow your screwdriver? No. I'm using it. You don't look like you're using it. Yeah, well... It brings me luck. It was a gift from my, uh, grandfather. I'm taking my lab coat. After all, it belongs to me, whatever Cobra says. That cloud is shaped like a trowel. Jeez, this guy. That cloud is shaped like a trowel. Jeez, this guy. If I used the sleeve of the lab coat, I could take the chili without burning my skin. Careful, careful. I've got it. Slow down, Captain Backwash. You are not drinking out of my bottle. No, no, sorry. I'll go get a glass. Mind if I take a little water? I could knock you out with one eyelash. I mean, sure, take what you need. Oh, thank you. Clean the pot a little. There, a nice pot of water.
putting the chili in the water could heat it, but it would spoil the taste. There has to be another way to do it without contaminating it. Hmm, I don't think that's a good reference sample. The capsule needs something hot or cold. This device could heat the water. Hmm, no. With a little luck, the chili will heat the water. I'm going to handle the chili carefully. I don't want to get burned. Wow, I didn't know it was that flammable. A minute longer with it, and I could have been toast. Great, now the water's hot. Drop in the linden flowers and... I have the soothing infusion the book described. It smells interesting. I'll remove it carefully. I don't want to scold myself. Drink this, Carlotta. It'll calm your nerves. What is it? It's a natural infusion made from an ancient flower. It certainly smells ancient. Are you sure it's not expired? I promise it's no more than 3,000 years old. Why is it in a flower pot? That's a peace cup. Oh, a peace cup. <sniffs> Ugh. It tastes a little funny. Are you feeling better? Well... I think so. In fact, I feel great. I love the colours in this room. They're so fizzy. Didn't you want my mojito? Take it. I don't need it anymore. Thanks, Kalata. Ow! She's a little tetchy. That's weird. She usually lets me pet her. She looks a little wilted. This really should be pure alcohol. But a mojito never hurt anyone. I'll take out the ice, though. Don't want you catching cold, do we? You're welcome, good looking. What the? You were protecting something for Total. You must have hidden this piece of paper before going on the expedition. Got it. Paperclip. Nice. Total certainly went to a lot of trouble to hide this. Let's see what it is. Supreme Squid! A map to Mutropolis. The map isn't very detailed, but it's a start. Henry, whatever that creature was looking for, might still be in Toto's office. Luke, I found something. Toto had this hidden in his office. A map to Mutropolis? He finally found it. Is that possible? Looks like he narrowed its location down to Sector 7. Sector 7 is huge. A hundred thousand hectares. And that's where the kidnappers will be headed. We need help. I'm calling the security cops.
Honeycomb City Securicom Department. Officer Blind speaking. We need to speak to the lead investigator on case B206. We have crucial information about the kidnapping. Stay on the line, please. Detective Jefferson, state your business. We have important information about the missing archaeologist. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Popel. Dr. Total, we've encountered new evidence. Someone broke into the victim's office to steal his research. You want to report a burglary? I'll put you through. No, no, the, the, the break-in is connected to the kidnapping. Kidnapping? Your archaeologist is a missing person. There's no evidence of a kidnapping. What? But we all saw it happen. Thing is, gentlemen, I've been investigating Mr. Tital's case personally. This is not the first time he's gone walkabout. Your absent-minded friend has form when it comes to getting lost on expeditions. Yeah, but this is different. Look, I got a couple of security cops combing the jungle. Your guy will turn up. He always does. Don't you even want to hear about the new evidence? Sure, lay it on me. We think the kidnappers are headed to the legendary city of Mutropolis. They took Total because he's the only archaeologist who really believes in it. A legendary city? The proof is in this map. Show him the map. I'll ping it over. Are you still there, detective? Unfortunately, yes. So, the map. Look, here's what we're gonna do. If your friend doesn't show up in a week, I'll put holo posters on every lamppost in the district. Good day to you, gentlemen. Felicia, what did I say about screening calls? I'm sick of sweet-talking neurotic relatives. Sir, the line is still open. Oh, for f I don't believe it. We're on our own. Then we have to be the ones who find him. We'll need a hover jet and survival equipment. We're gonna search Sector 7 ourselves? The ne'er-do-wells who took Total could be dangerous. We're dangerous. Um, Cobra's dangerous. We know what they're looking for, but it's not enough to narrow down the search. It's a start. About finding Total. Yes? My idea is we get on a hover jet as soon as possible and look for him. Surveying the terrain. Looking out the windows. Negative. That would mean months of searching. Sector 7 is too big. We need something. Some coordinates. A reference. There's got to be some way to figure out where the kidnappers are taking him. You're right. I'll get on it. About finding Total. Yes? My idea is we surveying... Negative. That would mean we need... There's got to be some way to... You're right. About that hover jet, how do we, uh, get one? Talk to Petra in the campus hangar. She's always helped us out before. But look for a big one. Micro and I are coming too. About the survival equipment, any idea what we'll need? The standard survival kit should be sufficient. They're equipped for every emergency. Back to work. No time to lose. I'll be here. From my terminal, I can check Total's personal notes. His investigations could give us some clues. Now I regret not having listened to him when he spoke non-stop about Mutropolis. Well, we didn't listen to him lecture us on coffee stains and the butterfly effect either. Yeah, it was hard to know when he was going to say something really important. I'm thinking Micro could hack into the Security Cops database for information. He's got a knack for computers and whatnot. Is that legal? No, but yesterday he programmed Max to shut down all the garbage mashers on the detention level. And that wasn't legal either. I'll tell him then. It'll be faster if I direct message him. There we go. Received. Entering the Security Cop database. Could you hack into the Security Cops database? Sure. Easy. Last year I got fired for hacking in to cancel a parking ticket. You got fired? Oh, yeah, but I hacked into the human resources server and unfired myself. I'll be more careful this time. Can you call Trevor? I still can't get him to show up when I call his name. I think he knows he's being called and deliberately ignores me. It's the only part of his training that isn't going great. I usually trick him by offering food. Have you found anything yet? Just a few aerial images of Sector 7. The university archives only have topographical plans, so I hacked into a security cop relay. I downloaded updated satellite images of the entire area. They should help when we know more about Total's location. Have you checked them to see if there's any trace of Total? The satellite camera's too far away to show people. 
even people with total ego. I'll be back when I know something. See you later, man. The hangar is on the first floor. Petra could help me get hold of a hover jet. I need to talk to Petra. Good morning, Doctor. Hey there, kid. He's reading his own user manual. In public. Ugh. We've discovered dozens of illustrations of this species, but not a single fossil. The Dean insisted we get a hologram, but if you ask me, they're as mythical as Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Whenever I try to pet it, I nearly lose an eye. What shall I buy today? The machine's not active. I can't place any orders without my official ID. A chromatic thermometer. They change color with temperature. In extreme cold, the liquid turns purple. You have to be careful though, the colors fix on contact with air. Last winter, one of these exploded in Micro's hands. His face was still blue in the spring. Looks like it's detachable. Carefully now. What shall I buy today? That won't work. The hangar, at last. I should be able to find a hover jet here. I need to ask Petra. Who's this? Wanted. Purple hair. For public disorder, sedition, and assaulting a prize-winning miniature pincher. He beat up a dog. They're an endangered species. What a monster. It doesn't look like anyone's using it. For the attention of Dr. Shale and Dr. Ruby, they must be in the geology department. It's a cryocrate. Hey! The label says FAO Lab C, Expedition Supervisor H. Dijon. It's a package for me! It's a cryo. The label says. Who's this? Wanted. Purple hair. For public disorder, sedition, and assaulting a prize-winning miniature pincher. Who's this? Wanted. Purple hair. For public... Hello, Petra. Henry, I was hoping to bump into you. I heard about Total. What the heck? Anything new? No word from the kidnappers. But the security cops will find him. They've kinda closed the case. What? That's why I'm here. We're going to look for him. I really hope he's alright. 
Total always brings jelly babies to departmental meetings. I can't imagine this place without him. We'll get him back, Petra. We need a vehicle. This is about finding Total, right? Absolutely. Then maybe I won't notice you sneaking out without a flight permit. What kind of bird do you need? Long distance atmospheric travel. Several passengers. Let me see. The bikes are too small for the twins to go with you. Besides, they don't have much range. The whale is grounded for maintenance. And the Vice Dean just took our last two hover jets to the Olympus Mons Fondue Spa. Your only option is that hover jet in the middle. But it's not ours. It's a freelance contractor. You'll have to negotiate with the pilot. I'm on it. Let me know if you need anything else. There's a package over there with my name on it. Yeah, that's possible. We haven't dealt with the deliveries yet. Could you do it now? Sorry. I have to stick to correct procedure. First thing is a roll call, then a full vehicle clean, and then we do package delivery. I understand. No one values correct procedure more than me. As soon as we finish cleaning the whale, I'll get right onto the deliveries. You missed a spot, boys. I've got to go. Henry. Yes? Good luck. Hello. What's up, kid? Is this your ship? Yeah. No. Who wants to know? I do. Dr. Henry Dijon. I want to hire your hover jet. Okay. Here's the deal. Discreet service. No questions asked. Special discount for archaeologists. No way! I'm an archaeologist! <laughs> no kidding! This is your lucky day! Where are you headed? I don't know the precise destination, but pretty far away. We talking what, 50 clicks here? No, much further. Sector 7. Sector 7? <laughs> Forget it, kid. I don't leave Sector 2. But your hover jet could easily take us to Sector 7. It's not that simple. I'm getting too much heat on the border right now. Damn security cops won't leave me alone. It's enough to make you want to quit smuggling. I mean... I, I shouldn't have said smuggling. Forget I said smuggling. I can't leave because I, uh, I love Sector 2 too much. <laughs> Good old Tui. Go Eagle next, etc. Why are you so jumpy? I don't like those security cops breathing down my neck. I'm just an honest hover jet pilot. But the big house whew, is full of innocent guys like me. Have you seen those wanted posters? That's Purple here. He assaulted the mayor's miniature pincher. And I heard he beat up his dog too. I mean, there's a dangerous criminal on the loose. You'd think the security cops would be too busy to harass honest hover jet pilots. But no. I'll leave you alone. You never saw me. Alert! An unidentified subject is approaching, Captain. Execute Protocol A, Lieutenant. Don't you mean Protocol C, Captain? Why? What's A? Use of lethal force. What about C? Rendition for torture. Which is the one where you ask them who they are? Protocol Q. Execute Protocol Q. Affirmative, Captain. You there! Me? Here? Identify yourself! Uh, Dr. Henry Dijon. I'm an archaeologist. You work here, punk? Yeah, I'm head of expeditions in Team Sigma. Sigma? The ones who lost the man in the terrestrial jungle? Yep, that's us. Ah, bad luck, that man. <laughs> the jungle's a dangerous place. Can you help rescue my boss? I've uncovered new evidence about the kidnapping. Good news! We've just received a memo to the effect that the case has been closed. But he's still out there! Do you guys ever actually solve crimes? 
Yes. As a matter of fact, we rescued a cat from a very large tree only last month. Not us personally, you understand, but we read the memo. Good luck. Thank you, son. It's got a little black opening, but no keyhole. Hands off! That's a Curicop property! I'm sorry, officer. Damn civilians. Always fiddle first, ask questions later. You're damn right, Captain. Go ahead, Dr. Dijon. What do you keep in that blue receptacle? Lost and found items. Correction, item. Since there's only one item in there today. Can I see if it's mine? Yes. I mean, no. How do I know you're not going to take something that doesn't belong to you? Very sharp, that man. So how can I prove the item is mine? Describe the object you've lost, and I'll tell you if it's in the receptacle. Okay. The object I've lost is... Is it an animal? Nope, not an animal. Is it... edible? Yes, I suppose it's edible. Is it cooked? I wouldn't say cooked, no. It's cold, then. Very cold. Stop that right there. I know your game, Sunshine. Damn it. I almost had it. When you can remember exactly what you lost, come and tell us. Good luck. Thank you, son. Hands off. That's Securicop property. What's up, kid? Have you lost anything lately? What? Why? Are you a screwy cop? You gotta tell me. No. The officers over there told me they found a lost item. I thought it might be yours. Sounds valuable. I say we split it 50-50. You win? You want to steal it? Don't go soft on me here, kid. You win or out. I'm in. Perfect. All I need is a distraction. You find something to draw the security cop's attention, leave the rest to me. I'll leave you alone. Stay sharp, kid. I'm not going near it. Not after the Christmas party. I can't take a transport of that size. It's a passenger ship. Um, yesterday. Probably. Thank you, Doctor. Good morning, Doctor. The bird woman you were talking to, what did she want? Nothing important, just asking about Total's disappearance. She was worried, I guess. He's reading his own user manual. In public! Ugh! The blossom is looking perfect. I don't want to trample over the harmonious energies. This monolith has a fingerprint reader. Hello? Somebody there? No response. Identification in process. Fingerprint recognized. Dr. Henry Dijon. Access level 2. Access denied. This terminal requires access level 3. Section managers and technical operators only. Have a nice day. Dr. Dijon. Damn, I could be a level 3. I know Total was about to promote me. I don't know them. So many students come through the university.
perfect. They suspect nothing. That's Cobra's voice. Got it. The sound must be coming from the upper floor, but our lab isn't even on this side of the building. They're gonna search for Total on their own. No, I got it. I can keep an eye on them. Yeah, I'll be nice to the four-eyed redhead. <laughs> it's easy to earn his trust. He's never been very smart. Just who is she talking about? I have the coordinates. They are safely stowed in my secret lab. No, in the elevator. Yeah, I got it. And I love it. I miss you too. See you in a few days. Whoa, this place has incredible acoustics. I don't like this at all. Is Cobra spying on us? And what has she got hidden in the elevator? Warning, don't use the goods hoist as a ladder. It's dangerous and leads nowhere. Thank you. An archaeologist can always use rope. I thought that would be easier. Only a small length of rope came free. I guess it'll have to do. Climbing up would be risky. I don't even know what level Cobra was on. There are over 20 floors I don't have access to. But she said she had something hidden in the elevator. I should start there. Touching this ancient wood makes me feel peaceful. I should let sleeping cats lie. This is the foyer window. I don't know which window that is. I don't know which window that is. This reminds me of someone. I've seen this face before. This printout could be useful. Slightly like Kalata, a mixture between Kalata and a psycho clown, but definitely more like Kalata.
Total's office has been ransacked. But who? When? Did they scratch the floor? I just had it waxed. Does having a plant cheer you up? Of course. I love their leaves. They're fluorescent. Kalata, what's your access level? At the university? Let me think. The HR lady told me on my first day. I think it was level one. I remember it was the lowest one. Is there anything lower than level one? I don't think level zero exists. Then I'm level one. Too bad. I need someone who's level three. Have you talked to the twins? I'll keep investigating. Let me know if anyone tries to get into the office. Oh, sure. I'll be watching. Hey, look! I managed to reconstruct a portrait of you from the bones in the archive. Is that supposed to be me? Looks like a mugshot of my evil twin. Did you show it to anyone else? I didn't think anyone else would be interested. I'll take that picture, please. Run along and do your thing. It's a while since I've been to the basement. It always smells like embalming fluid, but you never know. Hi, Henry. Clean, robot. Clean like the wind. Error zero zero six. Nothing ever just works. I wasn't going to touch it. No, thank you. I did a whole semester on ancient handguns. They've never been my favorite kind of relic. Someone else was obsessed with them, though. Who was that? Oh, yeah, Micro. These cases keep our most fragile relics in a controlled environment. These cases keep our most fragile relics in a controlled environment. Interesting. It looks very old. I should examine it carefully. What's this? This looks like a monograph on the art of theft. Shame I can't turn the pages. Apparently, these two picks open practically any modern lock. I guess that would be any 3,000-year-old lock now. This could be useful. I just need to fashion these lock picks. This looks like a monograph on the art of theft. Apparently, this could be you. I just need... Hey, hey, hey! Henry! Quit poking around. You know how fragile relics can be. Sorry, Frida. He looks pretty intense. I love this one's haircut. I've got to remember it the next time I get a trim. I hope it's not too decayed. Let's see. Hey, hey, hey! Henry! Quit poking around. You know how fragile relics can be. Leave that sheet alone. Sorry, Frida. An eye-catching flask. I'm using it, Henry. Watch the material, Henry. It's very delicate. By the Supreme Squid! What perversion of nature do I see before... Wait. I was looking at it upside down. Hi, Frida. Carlotta told me about Total. How could this happen? I don't know, but we're going to figure it out. I've narrowed it down to the Cabal or the Shadow Government. Of course, they both operate from the hollow core of Mars, so... It could be the regular government in cahoots with the Shadow Government. Have you considered they might be in cahoots? My guess is treasure hunters. In cahoots with... Not in cahoots. No cahoots. You're so naive, sweet child. I just hope you find him before the aliens do. Where's the rest of your team? They just left for an expedition, as if we didn't have enough finds from the last one. What did you discover? 
the remains of a 19th century police station. Lots of firearms, projectiles, the usual. But we also found a few very rare items. It's taken me a week, but I've restored everything. Frida, you're a head of department. What's your access level? I'm level three. Why do you ask? Level three? Wow. Henry, there are a hundred levels. Well, three is good enough for me. There's a monolith near the entrance I need to use. Can you give me access? Absolutely not. I could get fired if anyone found out. But no one will find out. Discretion is my middle name. I didn't know that. That's how discreet I am. I'm sorry, Henry. I just need your fingerprint. I said no. It won't take long. You're not going to convince me. There's got to be a way to get Frida's fingerprint. Nice flask. I expect you touch it with your fingers all the time. So, can I borrow it? I need it. I'm trying to pour the ionic preservative into the mummy's mouth, but I can't get it open. If I give you a hand with that, how about you give me the flask? Sure, whatever. I got a bunch of flasks. But we have to open the mummy's mouth without damaging the specimen. Done it. Excellent work. It's as if you have an innate connection with ancient things. Are you sure you don't belong to any lodge or secret society? Not to my knowledge. Well, a deal is a deal. Take the flask. I'm finally going to take my break. Frida, Frida, can I uncover this mummy? If the answer is yes, say absolutely nothing. Great, I knew I could count on you. If I wiggle it out a little, maybe I can read the label. Supreme Squid! I broke it! Most of the casing is still stuck inside the holster. Still, let's see what we've got here. I estimate that the cylinder was about 15 centimeters long before it broke. <laughs> the contents have long since decayed, but I'd say it used to contain a potent chemical. The label is still intact though. Old Smoky Smoke Bomb. Range of action 3 meters. Non-toxic and hypoallergenic. Then comes a list of its chemical ingredients. They don't look so dangerous. I could build a new smoke bomb with this recipe if I could find the ingredients. And I'd need a new cylindrical casing and fuse, of course. I'll take this fragment. I've already taken everything I can. Hmm, this cylinder has fused with the holster. It's not coming out. 